So this is the car that I've really been looking forward to drive. The all new Mazda MX-5. So let's give it a go. So, before we take it to the open road, it's the summer, let's take the roof down. And that's as easy as it is. So this is the fourth generation MX-5. With a two liter engine, it keeps the Mazda heritage by keeping the weight as low as possible and the handling precise and pristine. This car, it just grips. special about the MX-5, whether it's how low it is to the ground, how grippy it is, it just brings a smile to your face. The 2 litre engine produces just enough power to keep it pointed in the right direction when you need it. There's an argument that maybe the Mazda is a little bit in the power, but when you're driving it on the road, it does not feel like that at all. Because you're so low and it is so grippy, the car just feels sublime. And it genuinely is bringing a smile to my face. So what surprised me first is I'm six foot two. So whenever I get into a car, usually it's a bit of a snug fit. But this car, with the roof down, I feel quite comfortable. I've got enough leg room, even if it is a bit of a tight fit to get in. But once I'm in, I'm comfy. I've got everything that I need. Everything's within arm's reach. It's a nice place to be. Even with typical British weather, i.e. it's just stopped raining, everything feels nice and cosy. The car does a good job of channeling the wind away from my ears. There's not too much noise and I can have a conversation, in this case with myself, quite easily. Steering is responsive. There's, there's no other word for it. You turn it, you point the car where you want to go and that's where you head. And there's enough power that when you get to a junction, and you want to get out in a hurry, the car will do it for you. The challenge is to remember that there's speed limits for a reason. This is what the MX-5 really likes. Corners. You throw it in and it'll just hold. You don't feel at any stage like you're not in control. Yes, it might really want to be sticking the tail out, but it's well behaved. Here we are, entering a 30 mile an hour zone. The car just calms down. Everything becomes quiet. You can enjoy the wind in your hair. And this is the thing I really love about the MX-5. Not only is the gearbox fantastic, and I don't use that word lightly, but the gear stick is just perfectly weighted. Each change is just, there's no word to describe just how nice it feels to just shift and then be where you need to be. I like the way the seats, they hug you. They don't feel restrictive, they feel supportive. And when you're going around the corner, that's what you want. So when specking your MX-5, the thing that strikes me is whether you go for the entry level base model or for the top spec, you're getting a hell of a lot of car for the money that you pay. Yes, you can have the extra features that come with the, the upgrades, but you don't need them because the car is an absolute delight to drive and anything that they put in extra is just a bonus. If push came to shove and I had to lay my hard-earned money on the desk and put my money down on a car, would I buy this car? 